Hi there, I'm on the corner of 2nd Street and Hill Street in downtown Los Angeles, California. I wanted to take you on a little adventure slash tell you how to get to the downtown um, from this area. As you can see on my right, you can see a lot of the tall skyscrapers. So we know we're going the correct direction. That right there is a, an electric bike. Uh, you can rent that, you download an app on your phone and you pay whatever the amount is to start it. And it looks like on this one, it's just 15 cents a minute afterwards. Uh, you do not need to bring it back to this particular spot. You can take it um, and you know wherever you are going and then leave it wherever you are. Get back on your app and let them know that you're done and you just pay and walk away. No need to worry about uh, returning it or where you got it from. Um, you'll find these bikes just random all over uh, Los Angeles uh, streets. Uh, if you're not a fan of the electric bikes uh, and you love scooters, uh, same principle. Uh, there's one through the Los Angeles government, uh, there's some, and there's also some provided through Uber. Yes, you just get on your Uber app and uh, you put in the information and you can rent the scooter with the same principle. Take it wherever you want for as long as you need it, drop it off wherever you end up, get back on your app, pay for it, and walk away. If you need another scooter, wherever you are, if you see one, grab it, same thing, just repeat. Get back on your app and let them know you wanna take that scooter. And follow directions and you're on your way. If I see any of those scooters along the way, I will stop and show you. They're kind of a hit and miss. Unless there's a charging station, then you'll see several of them together. Okay, we're getting close to downtown. I'm gonna stop and just let you guys take it in. Let me get a little bit further so you can see the Wells Fargo building too. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty. Let me get the tree out of the way for you. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's beautiful down here. Oh, another thing. If you are not a fan of driving in big cities, there is a public city bus uh, called the Metro Local, I believe. Let's see what they say. Yes, the Metro Local. And you can go online or you can go to the station to get rides and find their maps and locations for drop-off pickups, things like that. Okay, we're a little closer and I'm in a safe spot. So let's stop and I just wanna give you guys a little bit of a view of what I'm looking at here. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost there. We are approaching the intersection of 3rd Street and Hill Street. And I'm not sure where that goes. I'm not sure if I can get to downtown that way, but I know I can if I go this way. So I'm going to go this way, even if it might be a little longer. Oh, take a look down here. This is 3rd Street. Look how pretty. Okay, let's get back. Oh yes, I forgot to mention right here as I pass this, there are also rideshare pickup areas. So if Ubering is not your thing or the city bus or an electric bike or electric scooter, um, you have a rideshare option as well. Oh, surprise for you guys, I've been here before. This is the famous Grand Central Market. Let's go in and check it out. I wanna show this to you guys. Oops, there's some people. Let me try not to get in their way. Give me just a minute, guys. Try to get around them. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Awesome. 
This is an area where people typically stop and take photos. It's really cool. I have no idea how it shows up in a photo, but I imagine pretty awesome since a lot of people do it. See, as you can tell, there's a crowd waiting to do it. So let's go the other way so we don't get in their way. We are in the Grand Central Market. Looks like it's been here since 1917 of downtown Los Angeles. And let me show you this beautiful view. See the sign? And look what's around them. Look what you get to see. It's gorgeous. Can you even imagine? So pretty. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go in this way. Okay. Just going to take a walk through. I'll try not to say too much just because it's so loud in here anyway, especially when we get down a little further. Just let you guys look. Let me, since we're indoors, let me put you on a smaller image. See if that will be better. Yeah, much better. Now you can see better. Here we go. Okay, it's getting to be a little bit hard. Let me put you back on the bigger screen. Yeah, here we go. I'm getting a little too close, so it's difficult to see the signs like that. Obviously there are restaurants and things on the left as well. I'm just showing you the right. So let me kind of do a turnaround and go back down this way. So, oops, excuse me. So you guys can see what's on the other side as well. There's so much to see here. So many options. It smells so good in here. There's. Uh, a large variety of different foods being made and prepared, but all combined together smells really, really good. Even some fresh markets, if you want fresh fruits and veggies, like a little grocery sort of thing. Okay, we're not gonna go back up where that sign is and everybody is trying to take photos. We'll just stay down on this level. There's nothing else up there anyway other than seating. Right there is where you can park in the public parking that I mentioned coming in. It also has a ride share, different things like that, so it's easy access in and out of the Grand Central Market. Okay, I'm gonna take you on the, or I'm gonna let you see the left first and then the right because we need to leave out the front so we can head, still head towards downtown Los Angeles. We're just taking a little detour. But that's what exploration is all about, right guys? See what we find along the way. We have an itinerary and a destination, but we have to allow freedom to explore anything that may come up that we were not aware of. Okay, so down there looks like just seating and a chicken place and some juice, a juicery. So we're just going to turn around right here and head back. That looks like a fun little place. Some spices and stuff. Some fresh fruits. A little, like, fruit veggie stand thing. Some seafood. Trying to go around people. I know most people do not enjoy being on video, so I try to be courteous with that and not point it right at them when possible. So if you ever see like quick movement on the camera, on the film, I suppose, um, or something, or it looks like I'm going around somebody, I typically am. I'm trying to avoid um, putting people on film who don't want to be. This is a cool little center. I believe it's like a little 
bar wannabe? No, doesn't look like a bar. I don't see that. I'm not really sure what it is. Oh no, it is. Take a look, see? So basically, uh, they must just bring the stuff out when they need it and put it up when they don't, would be my guess. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, here's another thing I wanna show you guys. Angel's flight. Okay, so first, I want you to see the view here. Okay, we're gonna do a quick 180. We are back on Hill Street with all the beautiful skyscrapers. There's this thing called, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's called Angel's Flight. Do you see it? Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, I wonder if I get a little closer, let's try. Yes, there we go. Angel's Flight, and basically it's like a trolley. So if you don't want to walk up the hill to get to downtown Los Angeles, you can come here on Hill Street between, well actually it's near the corner of Hill Street and 4th Street. And you can pay, I think it's like 75 cents or a dollar, if I remember correctly. And you can ride that up the hill to prevent walking up the hill and going up the escalator and around to get to Grand Avenue, which is how you get to uh, downtown Los Angeles. So I wanted to let you guys know that. So I'm gonna put you back on the taller mode so we can see everything, there we go. Okay, let's keep exploring. Ah, here are those scooters I was telling you about. Okay, so these are the scooters. Um, some of them are through the Los Angeles government. Um, I'm not sure how to tell them apart, except for uh, this one is a uh, Segway. It's, well, like a Segway. So it's like a Segway, it goes a little faster. If you don't want something that goes as fast, they have these limes, which I believe are um, part of the Los Angeles. I think it's part of Los Angeles. They also have them um, through Uber. I don't see any of them through Uber right now, but that's the principle behind it all. Uh, we are on the, we are crossing, uh, where are we? Oh, well, we're next to the Angels Flight, which is near 4th Street. And like I was telling you earlier, it's very safe here in Los Angeles. Um, this is what, the third time now that I have been walking with officers. Um, it's a very safe area to come visit. Oh, uh, let's go this way. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to mention is how clean Los Angeles is. They are constantly cleaning the streets. Um, people tend to litter and gentlemen like this man is constantly cleaning to keep Los Angeles clean. So all the rumors that you hear about Los Angeles being dirty are simply not true. Okay, here's some more of those electric scooters, the electric bikes that I was telling you about. Uh, looks like we're entering the Bunker Hill area. Uh, to the left, you can find the Broadway theaters. Straight is a central library and straight is a perishing square. But I really wanted to go to downtown. Let's see here. I know we can get down this way. I'm just trying to figure out which street we want to take. Okay, we're now on the corner of Hill and 4th Street. And we, uh, right here on the corner is the Metro, the Perishing Square. Uh, let me just show you where we are. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. We can go straight to downtown right here. You see the skyscrapers? Yeah, had to stop and show you guys. <laughs> this is the hill I was telling you about. Even though it doesn't look very uh, taxing to walk. Um, I walk quite a bit, usually 15, 20,000 steps on my exploration days, which I do several days a week. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. And even I am feeling it in the back of my calves. So if you are uh, not used to walking or you don't enjoy stairs or inclines of any type, you definitely may wanna check out 
the trolley. Okay, we're almost there you guys. Can't wait to show you at the top of this hill what it looks like. I know video doesn't really do it justice, but you know, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, like I was telling you, the electric scooters, bikes, whatever, when you're done with them, just drop them off wherever. You don't need to take them back. Somebody did that right here on a corner of 4th Street and 4th Street. Look at that. It's 4th Street all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to give you a view. Are you ready? Okay, we have a walking white lighted person here so we can go. There are people waiting on us, so we gotta hurry, I guess. And remember, when I was showing you how to get to Grand Avenue in my other YouTube post, if you, sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. Okay, I'm gonna give you a beautiful scene here. Here we go. Let you look at this while I'm talking to you. Behind me, uh, actually to the right of me, if you are following the city map, it will tell you to continue going this way to get to downtown LA. However, it's a dead end. I'll tell you that. You can't get up where the skyscrapers are. I tried it last time I was here, and I learned from a uh, an officer that to get up where the skyscrapers are from here, the only way from the corner of 4th Street and 4th Street is Grand Avenue. Now, to get to Grand Avenue, we have to go up the escalator here. Okay, let me show you. Of this, the, the bank. Uh, let's see here, let's back up. I think it's City National, yes. You have to, on the corner of 4th and 4th Street, City National Bank, you have to go up their escalator. There's no other way. Or you can take the stairs. I'm not going to do the stairs. I'm still a little warm and out of breath from the hill, which I know sounds strange, but is what it is. So we have to go up here. If I remember from my last trip, we are gonna go in, go sort of to the left and find a Starbucks where I believe we're gonna take another left. Uh, so it's kind of like a curve left and then a, an actual left. And then we'll be able to get to Grand Avenue and that is where you will see the skyscrapers. Sorry, not much to see right here. We're just going up. Okay, I take that back. How about a view of the city real quick here? G3. Of the part in the back. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around because I don't want to trip on the escalator getting off. Okay, all right, here we go. Now, this is the City National Bank entrance area, and there is the Starbucks that I shared with you. Over here to the right is an area where it's like a little mini park wannabe. People just kind of sit and relax. There's some beautiful water. At night, when it's lit up, it's gorgeous. There's also some residential apartments, things like that over there. Okay, I'm just gonna show you kind of what's in this area as we walk to Grand Avenue. Here, I'll let you guys see what this looks like over here. It's a very nice, relaxing area. If you get tired of walking or anything, um, you can just come have a seat. And when you want to go to Grand Avenue, uh, you go this way. Uh, you have Earl of Sandwich on the right. You have the United States Post Office on the left. And once you get up those steps, which I believe is the only way up, see, look, more officers to the right. Told you they're everywhere. Um, once you get up the stairs, which if there's an elevator, I'm not aware of it. Nobody has told me about it. I believe it's just stairs, at least in this area it is. To the left, you have a blue cow kitchen and bar. Look at the view, you guys. <laughs> Just wait, it's a treat. I'm going to do this 
Okay, I'm going to walk up here so I can kind of get in the middle. Looks like they've got a little bit of a protest or a prayer or something going on. Maybe a prayer. It looks peaceful. Awesome. Okay, and I'm just going to give you guys a view. This is the entrance to Grand Avenue from 4th and 4th. Okay, now that you've seen the amazing and beautiful view, I'm going to take you up on Grand Avenue. You have to watch these steps. Some of them, like, let me back up a moment and show you. Some of these steps are not complete true steps. See how they kind of break? And like down there, it breaks again. So just watch your step as you're coming up. It's the same thing when you get up a little bit, um, higher here to when you get closer to the street see what I mean it's not an actual step so just watch for those it's very very dangerous sometimes okay so along on Grand Avenue obviously there is limited parking but there is some I'm gonna stay back here for a second and I'm just going to give you a view of what I see in a 360 Okay, now that completes the 360. Now what I want to show you next is if we go down here, which if you come up the stairs is to the left. Walk down here, we will go to the, the Grand Central Bridge. And I'd like to show you that area. Now we are currently in the Bunker Hill area of downtown Los Angeles, California. I'm going to direct you over to the right so you can see the skyscrapers. That's where all the, the interesting buildings are right now. Well, I suppose there's one in front of me. Okay. Okay. Looks like they are doing some work uh, somewhere, but I don't see anything in this area, so I think we're okay. But I want to give you a 180 of what's behind me and then... At the end, I will let you know and show you what Bunker Hill area of the top of the uh, Grand Central walkway looks like. Okay, we're at the end of the 180. Now I wanna show you, I wanna take you down and let you see what it looks like. Okay, and now you have seen it. Awesome. Okay, well now I am heading down to another area of Los Angeles, so I will talk to you later.